The Raiders are going dancing. Wright State University clinched their spot in the NCAA tournament last night. What looked like it was going to be a blowout loss midway through the second half turned into a nail biter right down to the last second. Two News reporter Riley Phillips joins us live now from campus with reaction from some of the students who were in Indianapolis to watch that comeback. Riley. Yes, Brooke and John, the energy here at Wright State is contagious. Everyone is just so excited to see the Raiders move on to the NCAA tournament next week. A game to remember. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, the, an emotional roller coaster of a lifetime, I think. Uh, they, uh, to be down uh, what they were in that second half and to come back and win it was, was really cool to see. The Wright State Raiders beating Northern Kentucky 72 to 71 in the final seconds. It was a surreal moment for students Shay Neal and Parker Testa, who actually got to call the game. Came full circle for me. I started uh, when I was 18 years old and was very shy, was very kind of uncomfortable in situations like that. And to see it end my final basketball game at Wright State and with a big time comeback against the arch rivals to win the championship game, it's not just a big time game. It's the stuff that movies are made of, it's the stuff that stories are made of. They know how much a March Madness run means for the Raiders. To, for a, a small mid major school like Wright State to, to win the conference and to get an NCAA tournament bid is, is big for the school. and. Uh, I'm just really happy for, for the campus community and all the athletic department as a whole. It couldn't happen to a better group of people. Now they're ready to go dancing and cheer on their favorite team next week. To see the work that they put in, to see the, the, the people that they are off the court and how that translates to the players they are on the court. Uh, nobody deserves it more than these guys, and uh, it's an absolutely phenomenal feeling to, get to watch them go to the NCAA tournament. And both Parker and Shea hope they'll be able to call the game next week. It all depends on where the Raiders are playing. Of course, we won't know that until Selection Sunday. Live in Fairborn, Riley Phillips, 5 on 2.